Mine is a story of um, reconciliation, I would say. I have always been a daddy's girl my entire life. Some of my fondest memories are of being with my father. I learned to change tires and oil um, just by hanging around with my dad. He was one of my favorite people, my superhero. As I grew older, my relationship with my dad became more about trying to please him and gain his approval and his affection. I worked really hard to earn my father's love. That became really exhausting. And so I found myself um, rebelling. After I left high school and went off to college, I decided I was gonna go off and do what I wanted to do, how I wanted to do it on my own terms. Turned my life upside down. I came home after my freshman year of college and found out that I was pregnant. My dad is upset because now here he is, he's a pastor, he does a lot in the community, and his daughter has taken a horrible fall. I'm there by myself, depressed, falling apart, broken, and I, my, my dad wasn't there to take care of me. My protector, he wasn't there because our relationship was so severed. I felt completely abandoned. really trying to get my relationship back on track. I remember very vividly <laughs> the Holy Spirit saying to me, you need to, you need to apologize. And I was like, apologize? Why do I need to apologize? He's the parent and all of this happened in our relationship. Why am I the one who needs to apologize? And so I said, okay, you know what? Out of obedience, because I'm really trying, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make that phone call. So I talked to my dad and I go through this spiel about how you know I had made these mistakes and where I had gone wrong and just apologize and I love him and I thanked him for all that he had done and been for me and meant in my life. And then I paused and my dad responded, are you done? I said, uh, yes. He said, okay, bye-bye. And he hung up the phone. Several months later, out of the blue, didn't expect it, didn't anticipate it, I answer the phone and it's my dad on the other end of the line. I could tell he was crying and so I asked, well, what's, what's going on? And he said, you know, I can't take knowing that my baby girl is so far away and hurting and broken. I've been praying for you and I feel where you are and I feel your pain and I'm coming to get you. It's time for you to come home. God had done such an amazing work through obedience, being willing to take that step and to extend forgiveness.